I want to give a little instance of an awakened being in the regular world. See, when you go about the regular world knowing that all is one, it's quite easy to be accepting of people. But when people are rude to you over and over, because within them, they have no interest in being awakened. They have no interest in anything. Say, for instance, I go to, I'll name one of my stops, I go to this place, Giant Eagle. And I go in and they'll be like, you know, they had a sale. It's buy one, get two free or something like that. And the bakery didn't send me. They were just cut for the whole day. So it's not my fault. And their shelf's empty. And I'm like, I'm sorry, the bakery didn't send any. And they get mad at me for it. All I can do is say, you know, I didn't get any. And I'm sorry. And they'll, they'll just carry on about it. Like, rah, 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 rah. and I'm like, okay, okay. And then, like, I'll put my headphones back on and whatever. And the way they present themselves. If I walk in and say, good morning, they go, <laughs> how are you doing today? All right. No interest in saying anything back, so it's one of those things where they just shut you out. So you can't. You can't. And if you try to be like, is there any way I can help you out? They don't want you to. You can feel it on them. They just don't want you to talk to them. So then I go to the next place, and there's this guy. He's the store manager at this place called Tops. And he's like, oh, I've been out of town. I'm back, okay? Great. Nice to meet you. You know, and he's like, oh, do you got anything for that table back there? They actually had the same sale last week, the two for buy one, get two free. You know, and I use that for example because here it's more like snack pies. At Giant Eagle, it's more like snack pies and tops. It was the, the table. And I'm like, uh, we just got that table and they haven't been sending all the snacks. They, they don't. They cut them all the time. But, you know, and they don't understand that. Or maybe they do understand it, but still. And maybe it's his job to be rude to vendors. And he's like, i got to make sure the vendors keep their masks up over their nose while his employees are walking around with them down around their chin which is one of those kind of things where they're just being rude to you because they don't know you and they're being friends to their friends. But, you know, if I was an, an unenlightened person or an unawakened person, I don't know what I would say. If I was just a normal everyday guy, if I wanted to be whatever, I'd say, well, you know, if you're worried so much about stuff, you know, we're in the middle of a pandemic and your bathroom hasn't had hand soap for two weeks. Now, how sanitary are you, you dips, you know? But at the same time, I, I don't care because I love them that much to just let them be rude and let them be ignorant to each other and to me. So am I supposed to just be a pushover and let people like just act rudely to you? And then you smile at them and you say, oh, okay. And you just go back to it. But because I have this job, I subject myself to it over and over and over and over again. And it gets really, really frustrating. So I don't know how to get out of it because I don't want to seem like I'm quitting but at the same time, my path is not bread man, snack guy. It's, it, this is quite irritating to deal with people that are so angry all the time. And say I get the Dollar General or uh, uh, Walmart this morning and the girl's 15 minutes late as always. And it's like 16 degrees outside. It's pretty damn cold. But I sat there and I kept my mind at ease for 20 minutes. It was from 5.01 till 5.19. So I guess only 18 minutes. So I was there for 18 minutes just keeping my mind on being not cold. And it was... It worked, you know, all that kind of stuff, mind over stuff kind of thing that anyone can do if they try. But then, you know, if I really cared, I'd be like, listen, you got to be here on time because blah, blah, blah. I, and then some people are like, I am, I'm on time. And some, if I'm on time, you should have to be on time. This isn't the way the world works. None of us have to be on time. You're on time because you elect to be. And you let people push you around because we let them. Like, if you stay, say something to the person like, I just want you to be respectful to me. That's all I'm asking. There's no reason to talk down to me like that. Whether this is your job or not and someone's going to yell at you, that's fine. I'm sorry. But if my product doesn't come and I can't help it, don't yell at me over it. Because I'm not a little child and you shouldn't yell at a child anyway. You shouldn't yell at anyone. So people just need to be more respectful and if they're like, well, blah, 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 blah. That's something in them that needs to change. If they think being rude to anybody, if they're looking to complain, if they're first looking to attack somebody with some words, it's their problem. It's their fault. They're the one at fault. They're the one who needs to work on themselves. It's, it's difficult to see everyone I'm around being like that. They're all unhappy. They're all upset about what they don't know because they don't know who they are. And they don't understand each other. They don't love anything or anyone. They don't have any true feelings. The only feelings they have are their senses. Like when, they, when something burns them or something feels good, that's the only things they know. And I feel bad for them. From my heart, just pouring out, I want to say, can you just open your eyes and listen to somebody who actually knows what he's talking about. But instead, I just say, okay, I'm sorry. I'm not really sorry. I mean, I don't say I'm sorry. I say, okay, sure. And then I put my headphones back on. I go back into my own little world so that I don't try to encroach on theirs. It's just really annoying. 
So I don't know what to do as a person because other people are very upset and very unhappy. So now it's in to do some more bread. Till next time. Peace.